Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I thought my auto grinder video would be the last innovation I would make for a long time, but it appears that shortly after I would figure out not only how to make a door a conveyor, but how to rotate it too. Anyways, this simple rotation device lets you rotate the bridge around the origin 15 degrees clockwise with the simple push of a button. Anyways, let's go show some examples of why this bridge would be useful and why you should build it. With one long bridge, you can finally reach all three Palm Islands from the same location. This is done by building the bridge in this specific plot and location. Speaking of this plot, going directly upwards will allow you to build a bridge directly to the volcano, something which has never been done before. And finally, there's the Frostwood Bridge, which I am currently standing on. And I'll let you guys figure out where you can place this, as it was super fun figuring out where the correct position was. And without further ado, let's go on to the materials you're going to need to build one of these door bridge modules. To start off your build, you're going to want to grab a skinny smooth wall blueprint and place it down somewhere around here. From there, grab a utility vehicle and place it sideways along the skinny smooth wall. The position doesn't matter. Just make sure the respawn pad is facing this way. From there, grab a vol's all-purpose hauler and place it like so, so that's one set away from the back of the utility vehicle and turned upside down. From there, grab your smooth wall and place it right here with two tiles on top of it. Now grab your title unknown painting and place it face forward like this. Next, grab your clock switch and make sure that's in the position shown on screen. Place it so that the knobs are facing downwards and the output is facing towards the truck. From there, you can remove your title unknown painting and your other blueprint. Now you'll need to make the clock disappear from your screen. To do this, get an alt account, make sure they grab the blueprint, then unwhitelist your alt account on your main account, make sure they press B, and then rewhitelist your alt account with your main account. This way, the clock will be gone for them, but not for you. And from there you want to place some blueprints on the back side of your ball's all purpose hauler and then grab it and flip it around so that the front side is facing you. Next you want to grab one of your temporary blueprints and place it on your utility vehicle like so. Then grab your second utility vehicle and place it perpendicular to your first one with the front facing down and under it by two studs, like so. Make sure that there's a one side gap in between where you can place your basic glass door. I recommend opening up your glass door before placing it, that way when you place it right here, it will open up already so that you can spawn your car. Now using this glass door, you just want to build a door bridge off of it, and I'm not going to show you how to build a door bridge because I already have a video up on my channel which I will link in the description that you can go watch if you're having issues building one. Anyways, for me, in this temporary setup, I just used three doors, but in reality, you'd use a lot more to get to your destination. Anyways, now it's time to make the clock switch reappear for your alt account again. Simply go up to it, you move B it, and then it will appear back on your alt screen. To start the wiring, all you want to do is place a button somewhere and a wire going from the button directly to the clock switch's adjust timer. Now this wire placement is very finicky, and I recommend placing it so that it's on the very edge of the timer button here. Anyways, you can test if it works by pressing the button, and you should see that the timer switch moves up by every press. Anyways, to check if it works, make sure your timer is back in the starting position, and then respawn your truck. The truck should weld to the timer and be stationary like so. You can use the truck to go up here and open these doors up. Anyways, this is just my setup, but in reality, you'd want to have a tall ladder located next to your door bridge so you can continue building your door bridge very easily. Once all of your doors are welded, it's time to open up your glass door. Next, you want to respawn the car connecting the truck and the utility vehicle. Now everything should be welded to the main truck. To make sure it works, simply go over to your button and press it. The whole bridge should rotate with it. And just like that, your build is done. Okay, that's cool, but how does it work? 
Well, it's pretty simple actually, and I'm going to explain it all to you right now. So basically, the whole thing is welded to a clock switch, more specifically the green toggle. So when you press the set on time button, it moves the toggle by 15 degrees. This in turn moves the whole bridge by 15 degrees. But wait, how exactly is it welded? Well, the reason we have two utility vehicles is so that one of them can weld to the bridge and the other one can complete the cross weld. If you don't know what any of this means, I talked about it a little bit in my auto grinder video. Basically, a cross weld is when you weld one thing to another thing using another vehicle, and this allows the door bridge to be welded to the truck which is welded to the clock switch. Anyways, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. If you've made a cool door bridge using this mechanic, please send it to me either on Discord or Twitter and I'll maybe feature it in an upcoming video. Visit for me. Goodbye.